Hey guys, Dylan Schumacher with Citadel Defense, and today I want to talk about backup guns. Uh, I've been experimenting with the system on and off for the past mm, year and a half, give or take, and decided that I thought it would be the appropriate time after it's had some time to simmer to share it with you. Typically when people talk about backup guns, they talk about something like this, right? They talk about a little revolver. Uh, and they'll put maybe a, a clip on here, or have a small holster, or in this case I have a, a soft-sided nylon holster that I carry this in my pocket with, right? You have something like this that, again, you can ride in a pocket, or, or maybe a clip holster, or something like that, or an ankle, but a smaller, less capable gun is typically the answer for most people for a backup gun, which makes sense. It's called a backup gun. It, it, it's not your primary gun, it's something that is a backup. Like that tiny spare tire that you have in your car that's only good for 50 miles. That's typically how we think of backup guns, right? If everything else goes down, if I lose my, my primary or if it goes down, at least I have this other thing that's a backup gun that can fulfill that role and, and hopefully get me out of here alive. Which makes sense, especially in a civilian context. Uh, I don't, I've never heard of a civilian case uh, of someone going to a backup gun, and I've only heard maybe one, two cases of, of a police officer having to go to a backup gun. And I know one for sure. I say two because maybe it's just one of the one I forgot. But the point is, is it's super rare, right, to actually have to go to a backup gun. So most of us, again, carry something small, something light, something that's comfortable, something that's going to fit in there. Well, the system that I've been experimenting with, I picked this up when I was at a class and I, I saw an instructor doing this and I thought, oh, I, I, didn't, I didn't even know that was an option. And it was big and it was bold, so I liked it. And I've been trying it out since. So I call it, and this is just me, I call it Pirate Carry. Uh, and I call it Pirate Carry because remember those old pictures of, uh, maybe not pictures, but paintings, whatever, of pirates and they'd have like six or eight pistols lined up because back then they were just single shot pistols, right? So what you do is you have six or eight pistols loaded on your person and then you just shoot and drop and shoot and drop, right? So you wouldn't have to spend all this time reloading because it was way too cumbersome to do. So, kind of like that, this is what I call it pirate carry. Uh, so I carry my, my primary, right, which is, which is a Glock 19 up front here, appendix, right? That's the gun I carry. And then, for my, my backup gun, I'll carry a Glock 17 with a TLR-1. And that's just because that's the light I have in that pistol, and that's how it rolls. And so that rolls back here in kind of the 4 o'clock position. So at the end of the day, I end up having two full-size, fully capable guns, hence Pirate Carry. Right now, this is my backup gun. Uh, now, again, it, is it a backup uh, gun in the sense that I'm worried that my primary is going to go down? No. For me, I primarily carry two guns in the event that I would need to arm someone else, right? If I was somewhere with my wife and we were out with our kids and I needed to give her a gun and, and get her out of the situation or if I need to stash someone somewhere, I primarily carry a second gun to arm someone else. So with that in mind, that person may or may not be as proficient in shooting as I am and I want to give them the most capable tool that's going to be the most helpful to them in that moment. And a snub nose revolver just isn't. Uh, to be honest, I'm not that good at shooting with a snub nose revolver. I don't practice with it nearly enough. So to hand someone that, which is, is a weapon that's just much harder to use effectively, short sight radius, short barrel, all that stuff, my thought was, if I can carry two full-size pistols, why not? So that's the system I've been experimenting with. It can be a little uncomfortable. It's pretty concealable. You can judge for yourself. Uh, but but I'm, I'm able to get it most of the time. When I'm driving is probably when it's the most uncomfortable just because carrying anything 4 o'clock when you're driving is, is uncomfortable. But this is the system that I've been experimenting with on and off to, to see if that kind of fits for me. And, and by and large, I like it. And I think that's probably where I will land when I decide to carry a backup gun. So give it a try, see if it works for you. I realize not all of us can carry two pistols on us, but I would say you can probably carry more pistol than you think you can. Meaning everybody's always concerned about am I printing and, and is it showing and you know it's uncomfortable and most of that's in your head. Uh, for most of us we can carry a full-size pistol concealed and it's not really a problem. 
and I would even argue I'm carrying two full-size pistols concealed and it's really not a problem. So, check it out, try it out, let me know what you think of it. I, I thought it was a big bold idea when I first realized it. I'm like, I didn't, I didn't even know it was an option to carry two full-size guns. I'm going to try that. So, I like I said, I've been experimenting about a year and a half on and off. Really like it so far and I think I'll continue to do it on and off when I decide to carry a backup gun that day. Until then, do brave deeds and endure.